all you guys. Awesome. Thank you, JD. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our May Home Hub informational session. So everybody's talking about Home Hub. This program is just going like gangbusters. Everyone's embracing it, adding their clients, their sphere folks, adding their vendors to the program. So we're really having a lot of fun with it too as well. Now, if you remember, our online platform and app developer and program partner is MoveEasy, um, is the drive behind Home Hub 2. Um, so today we've got Kate Lesore, who is our Senior Customer Success Manager with MoveEasy, and she's here today to share some things and show us some things with Home Hub. So let's dive right in. Kate, take it away. Awesome. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful day, at least in Ohio, it is. Um, so we are going to uh, review um, all the great things about Home Hub. Um, here's our lovely agenda for the day. So what is it? Um, why do you want to use it? How it works? And then we're actually going to go live into the dashboard. Something really exciting about this month's um, informational session is we've actually done a few different things with our, our branding and user experience where we've kind of upgraded from some of those cartoon features that were the images on our site to now beautiful photography. It looks a little bit more luxurious. Um, it's a kind of a different feel for the client. So um, you guys will be able to see that. Um, how that view, how that has changed for the client. Um, then we'll go into the agent dashboard. As always, I'm going to give you some homework assignments, and then we'll review who we are and what we're not. Um, while I go into this, uh, just a show of hands or in the chat, how many people are familiar with um, Home Hub? JD, you don't count. Daniel, you don't count. Perfect. I'm going to assume that silence is no one is, which means that this is going to be an incredible class and I'm not going to skip a, a moment of it. So what is it? <clears throat> Home Hub, um, it is, uh, an, I, I always look at these slides and then I never say anything that's on the slide. So I usually just try to hold a conversation with you all. It's easier for me to do the training. So I will tell you uh, my quick elevator pitch on the Home Hub um, experience is your client has provided a personal home concierge for anything related to their home management or moving experience. And we have uh, we used to say the home ownership aspect, but it really is home management because it's great for renters um, and it's great for really just anyone that is living in any type of uh, um, uh, house or home or unit that could benefit from this. So basically during the moving process, that concierge is gonna set up um, all of the utilities, help find the best internet and cable deal, um, all of the stuff that's really a big pain in the butt when we are going through a move. And then they also provide a um, um, list of uh, vendors in the area. Um, your brokerage has added some and agents are able to add. Uh, it reminds people about changing their uh, mail forwarding system, their driver's license, all of those things, again, that happens during the move. And then in the home management platform, this is the best thing this is what Danielle was just speaking to about inviting your sphere. This allows your clients or friends, family, even people that didn't use you um, in real estate that maybe you've gotten close with. You can invite them to the home management dashboard where they, they can keep everything organized within their home from their equity, their loan balance. Again, a list of trusted providers, um, blog posts on what to do with their home. Again, everything related to their um, their home. All right, so this slide just shows what the whole model, how the model works. Um, it's very similar to a lot of what I've just said, but this is prettier because it's a lovely picture, right? So first you have a real estate transaction. And this is where we get a lot of questions. It is an automated system. Once that transaction is marked pending, your client's gonna get invited to the moving dashboard. So there are two different dashboards. There's a moving dashboard and a home management dashboard. So this moving dashboard, this is usually where the client becomes first familiar with the um, the concierge service because they do have a personal concierge. And I say personal because it really is. It is a real person that is doing all of this on behalf of uh, for your client. They're setting up internet and cable. They're finding those moving services. They're setting up their utilities, home security. And I'd like to provide some talking points to agents um, on how you can explain this to your client. So when you're talking to your client, maybe you've got an open house coming up and you want to try to capture some buyers, you can bring up this service and mention that our moving companies have to be in business for at least 
five years. They must have insurance and they have to have an A or A plus rating on the Better Business Bureau. So we've done all of that for you so that you know your clients are getting a great um, moving company during that process. Then once they've uh, that move has happened in about 90 days after the close, so um, we give them access to all of this stuff for about nine days, they get access to their home management platform. And this is the one that I absolutely love. We're going to spend some time on this today. So this provides a list of a bunch of vendors that I might need for my home. Um, if I do want to check that I have the best savings and you know cable um, bill um, services, just making sure that I'm saving money wherever possible. I do have access to upload documents and I can even put in my appliances and keep track of the different pieces, parts, and maybe warranties. Any questions so far? I don't have my water bottle, which is the only thing that ever gets me from stopping to talk. Um, are there any questions? Is the pace okay? I'm going to keep going. Yeah, Let's sounds go. great, Kate. Thank you. Awesome. I, feel, I went to grab it and it was gone. So I just have an empty energy drink. Just, <laughs> that's certainly not going to help me slow down. All right. So this, um, this slide's really important for you, the agent, to be aware of what's getting sent to your client. So I like to tell everyone, I'm actually a licensed agent. I've been in real estate since 2010. And I know, and same with both my parents and my brother. So I know how you agents think. And there's always a fear. You're reaching out to my client without telling me, do I really trust this? What's going on? So a few things we're going to um, discuss some of those objections. Well, one, we are never going to reach out to your client without letting you know first. So the agent's going to get an email first that just says, hey, congrats on that deal uh, that you have. You can scroll down to the bottom of that email. And if you want to not invite your client, if you want to disable that invite, you can go ahead and click disable on the email and it won't go to your client. Why would you want to do that? Really, you wouldn't because it's an incredible service and it's complimentary, but maybe it's an investor who doesn't need to worry about the moving or the utility components. Maybe it's a, a land deal or somewhere where maybe they don't need to be reached out to from the concierge. You can disable that invite. If you do nothing with this email, your client's going to get an invite about 24 to 48 hours later, welcoming them to the program. So I said that you're going to get homework assignments. This is your first one. If you take nothing out of this entire training, except for the next sentence, then you did, then you did okay. When you get this email, use this as a reminder to reach out to your client and say, my personal moving team is going to be calling you about getting things scheduled for your move. So I always say personal moving team. One, it makes me sound like I have a lot of people on my team that are doing everything to make your client's experience absolutely perfect. Um, but that's really what it is. It is a personal, um, a real person that's calling the client to do all of that for them. So your assignment is you get your email, you then call, text, email your client and say, this is going to be coming, uh, you know, in the next 24 to 48 hours. Another reason we ask agents to do that, one, um, I can't see anyone's faces or hands, but um, I'm sure we've all moved at some point in our life. And I usually ask the question, did we enjoy it? Did anyone like moving? I will answer for all of you. It's terrible. It's awful. It's not fun. It's exhausting. And there's so much to do. It's overwhelming. So if someone were to call you and say, hey, I'm here to do all of that not fun stuff that Kate just said on your behalf, totally for free. What would we think? Okay, this is fake. This isn't real. This is spam. They're taking my idea. You know, we would get nervous. It is real. It is complimentary. It's on behalf of the agent. It's branded to the agent to help your client. So we certainly want to remind our clients about this. This is our communication cadence. All right. So how do we reach out to your client? Keeping in mind that before day one, so each one of these numbers represents days post pending. Okay. So a day after pending, two days after marked pending, seven days, 14 days, three weeks, et cetera. So keep in mind that before that first day, you, the agent will get an email that notifies you, we're going to reach out to your client. Your client then gets an email. That was the one I just showed on the next, on the previous slide. And they get a text message that says, you know, we are part of the home hub concierge. Let us know if we can help with your move. If your client doesn't respond to that, then we're going to reach back out on day two with a phone call. If they don't respond, they don't answer, then we will a week later, and then two weeks later, and then three weeks later. 
if at any point your client does engage and say, yes, we are interested in the service, then we're not going to keep reaching out. We're going to schedule that appointment. We're going to get them, get everything scheduled for them. If your client does nothing with, <clears throat> excuse me, with any of these um, outreaches, three weeks after pending, we are just going to say, um, congrats on your new home. We're not going to bother you again, but we are here if you need anything. So it's not like they are taken out of the service. They are always welcome to use us. It just means we're not going to um, keep calling or texting or emailing. All right. Why would you want to use this? So if I didn't give you enough reasons already, we're going to go through a few things. All right. It's automated. Um, again, I mentioned my whole family's a bunch of realtors. I know how you guys think. There's so much tech out there. It's exhausting to learn all the different tech tools. An automated tool means you don't have to learn anything. You just need to know that it exists, all right? We do want to make sure that we're getting the correct data for our clients, so email and phone number. But automated, we have this integrated already with Dash for um, all of your transactions, so that will get sent out um, automatically without you having to do anything. Personalized assistance. This is the, the best part of the, the whole platform, and I'm, again, going to give you some talking points here. So there are a lot of concierge services out there. There's a lot of moving services that help your clients do everything that we do. They are usually um, uh, artificial intelligence or they're overseas or a call center or a computer bot. Somehow it's not that personalized assistance. This is our biggest differentiator. We have real people in two places in the United States. We have, well, at least for the concierge, the rest of us, we're everywhere. We've got some in Utah and we've got some in Ohio. So they are real people stateside working with your clients. I think that's our biggest differentiator out of all these other companies. Staying top of mind, we do know in, in real estate, the most difficult thing is to be remembered. Um, there's those stats out that say, you know, we're usually forgotten after about a year, which is so sad. So let's give them something to um, remind them about our service and to stay top of mind. Providing your own trusted professionals. And of course, the brokerage has added some in there for you as well. So being, uh, you know, we always know agents are getting these phone calls. Don't you have a contractor? You have a plumber. You've got, you know, they, they need help. Provide them a website that's branded to you with a list of all of that, that they can also share with their friends and their family to lead capture. And then supporting those ancillary services. It's so important to do that, to make sure that the deal goes seamlessly to the closing table. Now the best part, let's go live. All right, so you'll notice it looks a little different. We got some pretty little pictures here. All right, I do see there's my concierge. That's Brandon. He is a real person. So this is the moving dashboard. All right, so the first thing it's going to tell me to do is schedule a call with my concierge, Brandon. Brandon's a real person. I have met him. He is in Columbus, Ohio. Um, and that for, that call is going to be about 30 minutes. So First, the client um, will schedule the call with Brandon, and then Brandon will do that 30-minute phone call. Up here, you're going to see all of those different, um, this should be loading. We've been doing all this fun stuff on our UI. Kate, I have a quick question, too, because I get asked this like at least once or twice a week, too, when agents or ASCs go in and they see, hey, I don't see our three core service providers in there. You know, I said, no, they're in there. They're definitely in there. You might want to add your personal email address to see them yourself, so, you know, how, how the user sees them. So I just want to point that out because I've been asked, especially lately about that aspect. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up because we did talk about it. So just so you guys are aware, um, a lot of the stuff that's on the front end um, with, the, with this menu bar, this is for your client. The only time that you're going to see this is if you're logged in as a client. So that's why you don't see it on the back end. It is there. I promise it is there. We're going to check on that Coast One Mortgage um, uh, logo in a moment. But um, yes, it is there for your clients. So don't worry, we have it. All right. They can go through. They can click for those moving services, giving some of their information. So this is a slide I, or this is part of the, um, the page I want to show you that I think is really helpful. You can actually schedule a call. So you can do something on a, on a Calendly link. You could call for the concierge. Or you could do everything online and then tell Brandon that's what you want. So this is for the millennials, the baby boomers, the Gen Zs, whoever wants to text, whoever wants to call, whoever wants to do it online. All of those options are available and you do still have access to that personalized concierge. 
All right, we see our utility providers. I wish that these, I'm wondering if they're working on it right now. But you'll see that there are different utility providers coming in here. Maybe that's, oh, there we go. So I see my Illuminating Company, Dominion, all of the different things to set up for my, um, for my move. Again, this is available to your client. And then under this more option, if I wanna get a list of those trusted pros, which we're gonna show on the next platform, if I want security deals, so all of these are because of the home hub relationship with MoveEasy. Your clients get incredible deals. All of this is available um, to your client through Brandon. Now, my favorite part. We are going to pull over the home management. We all look, it says, hi, Kate, your homeowner dashboard. Awesome. All right. So this is the one that you could send to everyone in your sphere. If you're a new agent, uh, send this to all your friends, your family as your agent announcement. Um, send this, uh, set yourself up, send it to the whole PTA, the whole, you know, um, the whole block, everyone. It's a great way to stay top of mind and it's providing your clients something that they're going to want to use. So here's the dashboard we see. All right. Saving money in five minutes. So your client still has access with the home management dashboard to a concierge to make sure that they are saving all the money that they possibly can within their home. I do have a fun story. I love sharing my little anecdotes. I did a training here um, in Ohio where an agent actually said um, her husband calls the cable company every six months to um, threaten to cancel. He says, I found a better deal. We're going to cancel. Um, no, you know, no, thank you. And of course, what does the cable company do? Those crooks, they say, oh, we can match it, which makes me think that every little deal that they're trying to give, you know, they can always go lower. But of course, they say, oh, no, we'll match it. And we're going to throw in an extra cable box for the next, you know, couple months or a DVR or whatever it may be. He does this every six months. Imagine having Brandon as your concierge that's just going to say, hey, I found a better deal on your internet and cable. Or maybe let's check that you have the best home insurance rate. You know, he can do all of that um, on your behalf. Scroll down. You see the different home services. Checking with our service providers. This is one that I think is really great. You can actually add your documents if you want. Um, so everything in one fun little place, keep all of that organized with your home. It's basically this dashboard that's everything related to the home, branded to the agent. We see Katie's, uh, my agent, her name, her face, and her phone number. Now on to the best part. So we have our, ho our home valuation piece. I'm going to click on this. It says my home value. And then, of course, if I really want the best home value, I want to use Katie, my agent, so I can hit contact her for that. But it gives my property here. I go down to my mortgage balance. So there's my remaining mortgage balance, shows what I have left to pay. And if I want to refinance, there's Heidi from Coast One Mortgage I could reach out to. And I think it's important at this point to, to just tell everyone I know um, agents love to send e-cards and postcards and the stuff, you know, just to try to stay top of mind. And I, I'm sure it works a lot of the times, but sometimes the client just unsubscribes or throws the flyer in the trash or doesn't even look at it. This is something that they're going to open and they're going to use. It's a great way to stay top of mind because it's providing value to those clients. So as I say that, I'm going to show you the next two pieces of this that I absolutely love. So I want to pay off my house. I want to add an extra $150 a month to my principal. This is a dynamic calculator. I can hit calculate. It tells how much money I'm going to save when I'm at when I will pay my um, mortgage off early. And all of this again, if I want to reach out to Coast One Mortgage, I can do that as well. You see it down there uh, to reach out um, for more information. But this is something again your clients are going to click on and that they're going to want to want to uh, use and be aware of. The next one, I want to buy a new home. I want to get out of this one, even though I just did the kitchen. So I will never sell this home knowing how expensive that was. But I'm going to buy a new home for $450,000. i am going to put 20% down. I can hit calculate. And look at that. It's going to actually show me what my estimated monthly payment is. I can actually put in my different utilities, internet, cable, to get a really good guess on what my monthly payment's going to be. I have an equity breakdown if I want to get a HELOC out and then home projects. So this is also great for you agents. If I click on anything, like I want to look at a home pro, which I'm going to do in two seconds, I click on more details. 
the agent is going to be notified that I've clicked on major kitchen remodel. I need a kitchen contractor. So I make a joke about this all the time. But how great is it that, that you would be notified, oh, Kate, your client's looking at redoing a kitchen. You could be really creepy and send them an email or a text and say, are you redoing your kitchen? Which I'm sure they would be like, how did you know that? That's very odd. Please leave me alone. Or you could just reach out randomly and say, um, I just wanted to check in. How's it going? How's the new house? I know you were thinking about redoing a few things. Let me know if you need help with any contractors or would like my opinion. And then, of course, your client's going to be like, Oh my gosh, we're just about to do our kitchen. You read my mind. Come over. We'd love to talk with you. And now you're getting um, some face-to-face -face time with that client. So the part that we're going to show um, that is a new feature. So looking for the trusted home pros. Let's say I want, um, I want, I don't know. I want to, we'll do home inspector because I think there's probably some in here. All right, I can hit, uh, I just need a general home inspector. I don't need to tell him anything else. Look at that. So perfect example. Here are three home inspectors that are already um, been vetted and part of the Home Hub program at the brokerage level. So right now you see this CB preferred. You as an agent can actually add your own vendors and share it with your client. And it's going to say agent preferred. So every time you have those clients that ask, do you have a plumber? Do you have an electrician? Do you have a kitchen kitchen contractor? You can add all that, send them to the website, to this website, your URL, which we'll get to in a moment, and then make sure they always remember you. They always remember your name, your face, your phone number when it does come time for them to buy or sell. I can select on one of these and hit send request. I can select all of them, send it all at once, see you know availability or the best time. But um, they will then get an email. They know to expect these emails as part of the Home Hub program, and they'll reach back out to your client. All right. The last thing I wanted to share. So from this, there's a little button here that says plan your next move. So keep in mind, let's say I bought this house a decade ago, and Katie just in added me to this fun website. I've been on the website. I've been doing all these great things. And now I'm like, you know what? 10 years in this house, I've had enough. It's time to sell. I want to hit sell. I am moving to the Wolverine State. Hopefully I don't blow up. The Buckeye in me doesn't blow up here. All right. And now it says, how can we help you? So one, I can submit this to Katie right away. Katie might not work in Ann Arbor, but she's an agent who can get a great referral for me, right? And that's what we want. You can use this to anyone you have. Do not just send it to your market sphere. Send it to everyone that you know, no matter where they are. Keeping in mind that we do have the concierge service across the country. So if they do want to check their internet and cable, if they do want a list of um, you know, home pros, we can help them find that. So where it did say um, for under those home pros, CB uh, preferred or agent preferred, if there's not a one in there, if there's not a pro in there, they can actually submit to our research team that will then look online. They look on Google, they look on Yelp, they do some, some digging on each of these companies and they'll provide an actual person to your, uh, your um, client. So you do not actually need to have those filled out, but keep in mind um, CB already has or the Schmidt family already has and that we do have a research team behind there that will help as well. All right, so now you're like, okay, I'm into it, Kate. I love everything, but I've got a couple questions. Of course you do. So let's talk about who we are and what we're not. Because you just saw a great platform and I'm sure you're like, I just wanna make sure that this is gonna be as perfect as can be if it's going to my clients. Uh, I understand that the agent in me absolutely understands that. So first thing, it is branded to the agent. This does not look like a weird third party. This is the, this says Home Hub, this says Caldwell, or Elite Southern, you know, all of the different brands will be on there, uh, depending on where you are within the company. Um, it does have the agent's name, face, phone number, all of that branded to the agent. The agent gets their own unique URL. It is PCI compliant. So another question we're gonna get, well, I don't wanna give any of this information over the phone. All right. A lot of times today, your client's going to have to do that no matter who they're talking to. So you think about during a move, you've got movers, you've got internet and cable, you've got uh, water, sewer, uh, electric, you know, gas, all of these different, that's potentially six, seven phone calls that they're providing their birth date or the last four of their social or their zip code or credit card information over the phone. 
We are one person that's just a 30 minute phone call. So now they're only giving it to one person and our PCI compliance means that there's about 12 different standards that we have to abide by to get this high level of security. You can Google it if you want. It's basically given to those companies that have uh, that are taking personal con um, payment, consumer information over the phone. Um, and we have to have computers that are constantly refreshing. They can't save information. We can't have cell phones out. We can't screen capture. All of that are things that um, we abide by to make sure that it is very safe and secure for your client. Complimentary service. I know Danielle knows my go-to line here. It's complimentary. My boss, Katie, will not let me use the word free because she thinks it sounds cheap. But when she's not on these calls, that's exactly what I say. It's free. It is free for your client. It is free for you. Why would you not want to use it, right? Free might sound cheap, but free also sounds very free. So that is why I like to use that word. All right. Real people. I've uh, really harped on that this entire training. That's why I tell agents to say, um, my personal moving team. Another fun tip, the email that you get before your client will actually tell you who your concierge is. So I could get an email and it's going to say, hey, Zeus is going to reach out to my client. I can then call my client and say, hey, Zeus from my moving team is going to call you. And now it absolutely looks like that agent branded agent team, an extension of your brand and your um, your service. And then authorized dealers. I think this is another really important one. We're actually on the site doing it for your client in real time. We're setting up their internet and cable, their security. We are authorized dealers, meaning we're not some middleman. We're not trying to upsell them. We are just there doing it for your client in real time um, to provide those great savings. More importantly, what we're not, we are not spamming, selling, or sharing your client data. I can't stress this enough. We do not have a way to go back and capture the client data. Once it's been sent, it is not shared with the brokerage. It is totally private. It's secure. It is under your unique URL for the agent. It is just for that one phone call with their, with their um, concierge. Again, we are not selling that data. We do not provide that data anywhere else unless the client says, please provide my data to this vendor. And that's usually an in-house uh, service. So that would be like your mortgage or the insurer, or the warranty or something that we would be providing that to. All right, now let's talk homework assignments. All right, so this um, is what your agent dashboard will look like. And I'm gonna tell you, um, we are working on a very easy way for you to all access your dashboard. Um, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be done uh, pretty soon. But um, you'll have a single sign-on. At this time, you do not have that yet. You can actually search Move Easy in your brokerage email, and you'll see sign into my account. From there, you can click into it, and then your next assignment, the biggest, most important, bookmark that. And that's how you'll be able to log in at any time. So if you're looking to log in, Go to your email, search Move Easy. You'll find your welcome email, and then you could click the link to get in uh, to your dashboard. All right, so from here, a few things I'm going to show you what to do. Right, you're going to click under account. You're just going to go to your profile, and you're going to make sure it looks good, that you like everything. All right, there's your email address. You can add um, information here if you'd like. You want to make sure you've got a pretty little photo up there. Fill all this in and hit update profile. We want to make sure our profile is as updated as possible before we start inviting the world to our dashboard, right? So next thing we're going to do, I want to point this out. Let's say that you do have a client that says, um, you know, I never got the email or can you resend the email? Very easy. You can see if they've done anything with the email with this status. So the next kind of assignment is really just become familiar with the platform, with your dashboard. So you see this action button, you could scroll over it and hit resend. It's gonna send that in real time to your client. So if you have a client that says, uh, or maybe they said, you know what? I said no to that concierge. I was so overwhelmed. They caught me on a bad day and I and I do really want their help. Can you, can you please sign me back up or can you send me the email? You just come in here, you scroll down, you click resend and they have no problem. They'll have access to the platform again where they can then schedule that account. That's uh, more often than not the issue. It's surprising how many people just say, leave me alone right away because they're all nervous and scared. And then of course they're like, wait, I do need your help. So that's a good tip to know. All right, 
Next thing I'm going to show you from this dashboard. So you see your concierge. And we see there's a couple here that are a bit, um, some overlap. So Stephen Hamilton, if I click on his information, it's going to show me who all of the clients are that he has. And then it's going to provide his information right up here. So let's say that um, test, 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 test is actually a real person that's maybe hard of hearing, or maybe they have limited, you know, email or they're on a boat traveling. Siri always interrupts me in this, doesn't she? Sorry, my watch is talking to me. Um, so maybe they're on a boat somewhere and they don't, they, you know, they're at the different time zone or whatever it is. You can call Steven or you can email him and say, hey, my client test, 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 test can only be available during these times if you can try to schedule something with them. Or, you know, my client's a little hard of hearing. Can you yell through the phone? You know, whatever you need to tell them. And I love to share this because it does show that personal connection. You do have access and full transparency to every one of those individual um, uh concierge and um, people, right? So you see their information right up here. You can call, you can email, whatever you need to about your client. All right, the next thing we wanna do, um, we wanna look at how we're gonna add vendors. So I'm doing this in order. If anyone's taking notes, if you wanna invite your entire sphere after this, um, we wanna make sure that we check our profile, that it looks good, that we're familiar with the platform. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on add vendor. This is a new thing this year. This is awesome. Um, I absolutely suggest that you all add all of your vendors. Um, great question we usually get at this time is, well, Kate, I have a ton of vendors and they're my vendors and I don't want anyone else to see them because they are just for my clients. I get it. I know how hard it is to find a great contractor. If you upload your vendors, they are only visible from your platform to your clients. So I don't want Danielle's clients to ever see any of my people. If I add them, they won't. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to click on add vendor. And you'll see what's in an asterisk here. So vendor name and telephone are the only things that you need. But of course, we want it to stand out. We want it to look better than everyone else's. So we want to put in as much information as possible. You can add a logo. Um, you know, if you have their URL from their website, add all of that and then click add vendor. I will tell you the amount of vendors in your, um, I was just gonna say, uh, oh, we have to add, we have to change one of those. Barbecue cleaners, all right? We had one, I think you had me add um, golf and um, what are all the fun things, Danielle, that we've Wineries. added? I had some uh, in our Ohio region, the agents requested and the ASC reached out to me, hey, you know, they wanna be able to recommend wineries when they come visit properties and want the lifestyle of that area. Can we add that? I was like, sure. So I reached out to Kate, you know, and that's a great fun one. So I, I love sharing that too. It also shows the partnership that we have with the Schmidt family. So of course I'm with Move Easy. Danielle and I meet every other week and we talk about ways to get to get you all to, to love this, to enjoy it, to want to use it. And one of them is adding vendors. So of course, if, if you want to add wineries or you have something for maybe some clients that might be relocating restaurants or whatever it may be, we can add that. Danielle just emails me, we add it, no problem. And there it is. So, all right. Let's say you want to add a bunch at once, or you need to, you need to email help at movieasy.com and say, can you just do this for us? Or whatever it may be. Just to make your life easier, there is a CSV file that you are able to download and you can add all of that in there and then upload it with one click. So maybe you've got some college kids coming back for the summer and they need something to do. I would just suggest maybe go ahead and giving them this lovely template and saying, please fill all of this out. Stephanie, great question. So Stephanie's asking, every agent has to fill their account with vendors for the clients to see um, how can the client see vendors that the office in general recommends? So when we were on that that previous site, and maybe next time I'll screenshot it so we can actually get a, an image of what it looks like. So the agent doesn't have to add vendors if you don't have them. All right. The brokerage will have some or Move Easy has a research team that will do it. Of course, the more you add, the more your clients are going to want to use it. It's going to differentiate those um, at the office level and at the agent level. So currently, um, at this time, if the office has some, it's going to say um, brokerage preferred. It's going to be CB preferred. It doesn't say office preferred yet, but it's only visible for that office. 
All right. So like if the um, uh, ASCs are adding some, they would they actually have access in here to just select the office or the county or the zip code where that is. And they um, that will then show up. So that's great if you have like some office uh, contractors or inspectors or something, you can absolutely do that. Otherwise, it's going to say agent preferred up at the top. All right. So I want to make sure, Danielle, you didn't have anything to add. I thought that you had unmuted, but okay. No, I, I think that's 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 uh, a, a perfect way to say it too. And I have had um, some ASCs share the success that they've worked with their office manager for specific offices and talked with their agents in the office and decided what that what those shared, you know, who those shared vendors are, decide, yeah, let's let's add them in there at the office level for everyone to use. And they've done that very successfully. Oh, uh, Stephanie, yeah, who adds brokerage vendors? Those are people that are in there at the brokerage level and they were with our original, this is our list.com program and are in there too as well to represent them as well. So those are the brokerage level and a course built around our, our three core service providers are built into it. That's Coast One Mortgage, Woodland Title, Coast One Title, and then America's Preferred Home Warranty. All right. So next homework assignment. So we've done our profile. We've added our vendors. Now we've got to invite the world. All right. So you click up here, you see invite client. Oh, Stephanie, I just see your one question too. And I brought this up earlier because I do get asked. Um, if you're not seeing Coast One Mortgage, let's say, yes, they are definitely in there and available for all the users to see you know, all your clients and sphere. If you would like to see what the user sees, go ahead and use, go ahead and add yourself to your home hub platform using your personal email address so that then you can see all those key folks, those core service providers. I'm going to show that one more time, Danielle, because that, that does keep coming up. So, okay. At this point, so there's a difference between these four that are highlighted. And then if you go to more and you see trusted pros, so this list is different than this list, all right? So these are always highlighted. These are the those um, ancillary services that our concierge will be talking to the client about. Um, if you want to add some separately, so trusted pros, you can add your own mortgage or title or insurance if you'd like, but they're going to be under the trusted pros section, which is just not highlighted like the ones are up here for the client. Um also this, yeah, I got, we have to check that Coast One uh, logo, Danielle, it's, but but the same thing would be here. Obviously, that's that's what the client would be seeing. Okay. So back to that agent dashboard. So the next thing we want to do, we want to invite all of our clients. So I clicked up here. It says invite client. You see new buyer, new seller, and sphere of influence. So new buyer and new seller, you really don't ever need to use that. Again, because it's an automated system, this is going to go out um, with each pending transaction. But let's say that you want to send it to your client before the deal has gone pending. You want to make sure that they get access earlier. You can add a new buyer or seller at any point during your transaction. If the email address is the same in here as it is on that transaction, the client's not going to get duplicated invites. All right. So you can send it, you know, you know, the deal's going through, they're a cash buyer, it's closing in two weeks. You can send it, no problem. Um, and it will not duplicate it as long as that email address is the same. That's the same for those sellers. But the one we really want to focus on is that sphere of influence. So anyone that wants a list of trusted pros, that wants to make sure they're saving the most amount of money on their internet, their cable, um, they want to check their equity, they want to see if they can afford another house, all of that, this is for them. So you can add um, one person at a time if you'd like. At this point, I always say invite yourself. Experience what the client experiences. Do not use your um, uh, real estate email because it can get a little confused with the system. Use a personal email and, and invite yourself. But this is a, um, a great way for you guys to experience what the client experiences. You just add their um, name and email, and then you can hit send. But what if you want to submit this to thousands of people with one click, invite all of them? You can do that as well under invite sphere contacts the same way that we did with the vendor. You can also email help at moviezy.com if you have an Excel list, and we'll do it for you. 
they do not get the same communication cadence that the moving dashboard does. They get it one invite in an email that says, you know, check out this great service and then they'd have to click in. So we're not going to be spamming your clients on this home ownership dashboard um, either. All right. Now I have my extras, my extra bonus assignments. So I, whenever I send something out like this, the computer and a marketing team, they usually write a beautiful email, but I want to change mine. I want mine to look a little bit different, to sound a little bit more like me. So before I send this to everyone, I'm going to go back to my account and see this email content. I'm going to click on invite sphere of influence, edit, and I'm going to change this whole email. All right. I'm going to make this say, you know, I was so excited or maybe I'm a new agent, like really excited to, to announce my new career with um, Caldwell Banker Schmidt family. Um, as part of my first gift to you, here's access to a complimentary home management dashboard. Check your, um, you know, your home savings, your equity, your loan, everything that I just said, or you just need a list of trusted professionals and you can hit update. Now this is your new invite going forward. So I can change this. If you don't have anything you you know what you want to say in here, at least just change the subject line. Do some clickbait to make sure that they open it. Um, maybe I would just put free um, home management dashboard or um, really excited to share this with you. Or, you know, if it's someone's birthday and you want to put happy birthday and then change the thing, you could send it um, special to them. Um, I only said it, it actually is my birthday. So clearly that's on my mind Happy at the birthday, moment. Yes. <laughs> but another great way to um, to stay top of mind. The last thing I'm going to share before we go back to the slide. So you'll notice up here, part of my URL is, is darkened. We're on a demo account. So yours is going to look way prettier than Katie Agent Grand Rapids 49546. Yours will say your first name dash last name dot movieZ.com. That is your unique URL. So this right here, I just want to copy that. I want to make a QR code. I want to put it in my email signature. I want to put it on Facebook. I want to share it on LinkedIn. I want to put this everywhere I possibly can as a form of lead capture. So I think that is coming up here in a moment. We did our five steps for success. Just so you guys have this here. Um, I missed, oh goodness, I missed the most important five first step of the five steps. So obviously we have tour the platform, modify your profile, add those vendors, and then share clients. Bring this up with your client early and often. That is the first assignment. I can't believe I skipped it. We obviously want them to be aware that this exists. It's branded to you, what it's going to do, the, the value to the client. Um, and then of course I went through and shared all of these different steps. So as I was saying, the uh, the URL, the unique URL can be used for lead capture and it should be. You guys have access to the greatest uh, advertising marketing group out there. It's amazing how fast that they work and all the great stuff that they've come up with. So we did a few things around the holidays, but this could be great in general. This, you have a QR code, you make a... Um, a closing gift. Maybe you want to give them a nice little closing gift. And on it is their complimentary access to the Home Hub dashboard, right? Uh, happy house anniversary. Give them access to it. You make QR codes. You put it on candy for the holidays. You you put stickers on every different brochure. You can do table tents at, a, at um, an open house at one of your listings. Anywhere you would think to capture a lead, you can use that QR code. You can use that um, that uh, URL for lead capture. This is an example of a sticker that I actually made on just Avery's free template online. I just copy that QR code and I believe your marketing team can help with the QR codes as well. Um, so I would just have one made and then you can use what I even put on there. Scan for access, your home value, your loan balance, your equity, energy savings, trusted pros. You could make that say whatever you want it to say. But again, you want to kind of have them be like, wow, what is this? I want to look at that. I'll tell you, my whole family's in real estate. They put QR code on Halloween candy. And uh, of course, 
what what happens when the kid comes home with Halloween candy? All the parents take it. They, you know, they divide it up. They hide half of it. Maybe they eat a few, but they're going to see a QR code. They're like, why is there a QR code on my kid's candy? They're going to scan it. Maybe you got a new uh, lead from the neighbor, right? So a lot of great ideas on how you can use that for lead capture. All right. I think that's the end of my spiel. Um, Danielle, did I miss anything? Is there anything you want to add? And are there any questions? Yeah, thank you. Um, you did a wonderful job. Thank you, Kate, and covered in, and showed us really a, you know, a lot of neat things that we can do. Um, does anyone have any questions as far as agents that are on or ASCs that they would like to have answered? Any, any specific questions? think it might have been my most um I was like the slowest today I actually haven't had any coffee I feel like I was like very like I we did okay it was easy to follow I hope oh yeah I know that these slides are available to you all um and then I'm sure Danielle and I will work on an announcement once that that easier sign on mm -hmm. is available um right. and then I don't know Danielle anything else well, no, thank you guys for attending today. Please always reach out for questions. Um, get started using Home Hub today. Everyone, you know, it's an amazing program, getting rave reviews. So, so again, thank you for your time. And we look forward to working with you and reach out for questions. So thanks, everybody.